what's good beautiful people welcome back to the channel if you're new welcome to my channel my name is rejoice and demand and i hope you're here to stay so today's video is a skincare routine i will be taking you guys along onto my skincare routine so for my cleanser i will be using black soap which is also called african black soap i have been using this product for a couple of months now and it has made my skin so much better ever since i started using it because i had been looking for a cleanser that could work for my skin and for me personally so i have been using black soap for a couple of months and it has actually been working very well for my skin so i will use it sometimes in conjunction with the sonic facial cleanser that i was gifted to by Gatti b and i'll just use it on my face and just basically just wash my face and also scrub with it just a little bit before i rinse it off So my second step is to apply a face mask. Today's face mask that I will be using is by Huda Organics, which is the Castle Powder. So this is basically an exfoliator. It also softens and brightens the skin. So I know black soap is also an exfoliator, but I usually use this castle powder like once in two weeks just to have a mask on my face since i use an exfoliator almost every single day so i don't want my skin to feel like i'm just brutally abusing with so many exfoliators so i will just leave this mask on for about 10 to 15 minutes and let it dry then i rinse it off with warm water Another thing that I have learned that I never knew was to pat dry my face and not to basically towel dry it like normal skin how you would use it on your body and I think it's one of the elements that I have learned um, on how to actually take care of my skin and how to dry my face basically. So for the next step, I actually forgot I wasn't supposed to dry my face completely because the product that I will be using next needs me to have a moist face i need to have at least a bit of water left on my face i shouldn't have left it completely dry so my moisturizer as a base layer today will be the snail 96 mucin power essence by cosrx so i use this as a layer before my actual face cream and i apply a generous amount because it is a very very light um moisturizer so i apply it and just leave it on my face just a few seconds before i apply my face cream Alright, so for my face cream, I will be using my next best fighter of my skincare routine, which is the Johnson's Face Care Cream, which contains soy and red berry extracts. So this face cream also contains SPF 15, which I really love because it is in conjunction with um, SPF and it's also a moisturizer and face cream all in one. So I just get to have like you know apply it only once and that's it so this face cream actually helps to fade away blemishes spots and dark marks and i've seen it actually work really well with my skin in conjunction with my cleanser i don't know if it's only me but every time i do my skincare routine it's just a very wholesome you know moment for me because it just makes me feel like i'm actually doing something really valuable in my life by just taking care of my skin that's why i i close my eyes and just be in the moment and try my best to meditate through it and to just be calm and relax in the moment and massage my face because 
if you don't take care of yourself, who else will? I mean, sure, you know, you know, somebody else can, but you're the only person who can fully take care of yourself like no one else. So for my lip moisturizer, I will be using lip therapy. I personally am a gloss girl, so I love my lips feeling and having so much gloss because it makes me feel you know cute and it makes me feel very confident about myself so better make sure your lips are moisturized i know they were a bit dry while i was washing my face Bruh. and applying the snail mucin and the face cream but i had to show you guys the difference okay yeah that was the plan <laughs> so i know my face cream contains spf 15 However, I do use this Nivea UV Face Shine Control Mattifying Effect Sunscreen. I use it on other parts of my body like my arms and my neck because the current climate that we're, current season we're going into in my country, we're basically going to spring and summer. So, you know, hot days, meaning, you know, shoulders out, arms out, legs out. So I will be using the sunscreen on my arms my neck and basically other parts of my body that are going to be exposed in the sun and after everything has been said and done make sure you still drink your water and make sure you stay hydrated what is the most important element of your body and if you want your skin and everything else that is you to be hydrated you also need to feed your body with actual water so that is the end of the video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any suggestions or any advice for me based on my skincare feel free to leave it down below in the comment section and i know a lot of people have said that black soap is very harsh so if you were to use black soap or if you plan on using black soap just know that black soap is a bit harsh so if you have very sensitive skin or skin that kind of you know is very sensitive you know uh, i'm just putting it out there that you know black soap is an exfoliator and i use it every day and some people use it like a couple of days in a week and some once in a week because it actually is that strong so yeah but for anything else please let me know what you guys use and what you prefer for cleanser moisturizer or even a serum i have been looking for a serum to use a moisturizing serum so if you guys know any of good serums please leave them down below and i'll be sure to check it out so if you guys enjoy this video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel i will see you in my next video bye